Oh, hi guys. My name is Dave McMorrin, and I'm the paper coordinator for the Chem 150 paper, which you have signed up to take this coming January. Um, the idea of this video is just to give you some an overview of how the course is going to work, um, and in particular, how the um, best choice and Blackboard are going to be used as an integral part of the course that you're going to do. So I'm just going to take you through both of those now. Um, you should be aware that Blackboard will not be, a, a, you won't be able to access Blackboard until just before the course starts. So even though you can watch this video and get an idea of what's going on, you won't be able to actually try it out for yourself until probably the front weekend before the course starts. The course starts, remember, on January the 11th. And also just remember that the first four weeks of the course are distance taught. So that means everything is going to be online. So long as you can access Blackboard and Best Choice, the bits of software we're going to talk about in this video, then you can be wherever you like to do the course. You don't have to be down here in Dunedin. So for the first four weeks, everything that you need for Chem 150 is going to be in something called Blackboard, which you're going to find, you're going to use, um, if you come into Otago um, and do courses here, which I think you all are, then you will be using Blackboard a lot um, during your courses. The way you access Blackboard is to go to the University of Otago um, website, which today looks like this, and then over on the left here, you would click on Current Students, and then the second thing down is Blackboard. So you click on that, and now here you're going to enter your University of Otago username and password. So you will have got this information when you first uh, enrolled in eVision. They would have given you a username. The usernames for you will look like this. They'll be the first three letters of your last name, the first two letters of your first name, and then three numbers. I've got a P there instead because I'm staff. Um, you'll have three, no, sorry, three numbers there. You want to enter that in. Then put in the password that you chose when you enrolled, and you should be able to get in. If for some reason this doesn't work, then over here, ask Otago for seven nine seven thousand. These are the this is the number that you want to ring, um, or the email that you want to use to try and sort out issues with passwords. It's going to be really important that you know what your password is. Um, and can I also right from the start suggest that you don't just rely on auto filling because each time you come to a new um, device on campus, it won't know what your password already is, and if you don't know what it is yourself, then this can become a real problem, right? So we enter your credentials, it already knows about mine, and we go log in, and then there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, what you're gonna be concerned about is what's over here on the right-hand side, and so you probably at this stage will only have one paper listed here, and that's gonna be Chem 150. Summer School, Dunedin, 2021. So you'll click on that, and then we're into where all of your stuff is going to be. On the front, on the first page, there's a whole bunch of stuff which I tend to not use at all. There's things about content and organizations and things that are due. I think you can largely ignore all of that. I'm not going to be posting anything in there. So let's just focus then on the stuff down the side. Um, course information. So here we have uh, a link to the video which you're watching now if you want to watch it again. There's an introductory bit of waffle there from me. There's some stuff there about best choice that we'll get to um, and some other things down the bottom. There's also here a map of the campus. If we click on this then uh, it's a bit small and hard to see but if you know what you're looking for then 73 here um, just off Cumberland Street, which is the one way south. Uh, actually, it says one way north. Why would it say that? It's the one way south. Anyway, um, 73 is the Mellor building. This is where we're going to be having labs. 72 is the chemistry department where my office is. And at this stage, at least, your lectures are going to be down over here in building number 27. All right? I think the room is G17. Um, I'll confirm all of that uh, well before you come down here to do the lectures, right? So this is for when you're down here in February, um, and then the labs will be in this building 73, right? But more of this later on. 
All right, so there's some general information there that you can look through and get your head around. Um, contacts, here's my contact information here. So here's my room, here's my email address, my phone number, and so on, should you need to contact me for any reason. Email's probably the best, but you can ring me if you, if you need to, that's fine. All right, so then we get to lessons. So the lessons button is where all of the work is going to be. And for the moment, um, when you first log in, all you're going to see is this first bit, this lesson zero. Lesson zero is just a bit of information about the very basic math that we hope that you can be able to do. Right? We don't expect an awful lot of maths out of you, but we need you to be able to do some very basic things. Um, and so if so you should have a look through this and just check that you can do this sort of thing, right? So there's various um, there's links to videos here of how to do some basic algebra and stuff. Um, you can watch those and try and work through this. But as it says, don't panic. There is a lot of stuff in some of this which is it's a little bit old and probably is more than you need to be able to do. If you can do 80% of what's in this lesson zero, you will be fine. Not only for 150, but for all of first year chemistry. But then what you'll find is that um, on the first morning, on the 11th, suddenly four lessons will appear. These four lessons will appear. And these are the, this is the stuff that you're going to do for the first week. So if we go into lesson one, what we find, and they're all going to look like this, is that we've got learning objectives. So this is the sorts of things we're going to cover in this lesson and the things that hopefully you will understand at the end of it. Then the study notes. So there's a PDF. And here we've got some stuff for you to read. Um, in it, there will be uh, links to the appropriate pages in the textbook, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, to supplement your reading here. Um, for each lesson, there'll be just one of these, I think, maybe, maybe occasionally more than one, but normally just one. So that's a written version of the information that the lesson covers. And then we also have video lessons. So a few years back, um, when I was a younger man, I got all the videos recorded, all the lectures recorded. Um, so that's the nucleus. At the previous version of the course um, called Bridging Chemistry, um, I had someone come in and video all the lectures. And so, and then I've gone in and broken all these up into sort of 20 minute ish bits. And so you can watch these. And not only will this give you another way to try and understand the material that's going on, but it also gives you a sense of the way that a lecture at university might look like. Right? You're not going to have too much of that in this course, but certainly going on forward, you'll have lots of lectures. So there's those. So for each lesson, there's going to be two, three, maybe four bits of video for you to watch as well. Uh, I'll come back to this. We also have the textbook readings here. So the textbook that we're using for the course this year is an electronic textbook. Textbooks not required. Um, there's information in this about the email that I've sent um, along with the link to this video. Um, you can buy the textbook if you want. It's an electronic textbook. So you buy a registration code. Um, we'll send out the code and some information about how to um, download the app to, what, to look at the book in. Um, and you can use it if you want. Right? I, I like textbooks. They're another way of people saying the same thing but with different words. And the more times you hear the same ideas but said in different ways, the better it can be for you to help to understand, to help you understand the, um, the concepts. So if you want to get a copy of the textbook, um, you can do so using following the instructions in the letter. And then um, this is the parts of the textbook that you should read that to cover these sorts of things that we're talking about in the lesson. Right? There's problems for every every lesson. So here's a problem sheet where we can work through and do some problems. This one's not too long. There's some basic stuff there. There will be answers provided. All the problem sheets will come with answers. The answers will be up a little bit later. Um, so this one's set to come up to become available at 6 p.m. That should say or 6 a.m. it says at least. So that's the next day, right? So in theory, if you do lesson one on the 11th. The answers to the problem should be available on the 12th. So it gives you a chance to work at them rather than just go straight to the answers and, and check because that's a better way to, to learn the ideas. And then the last thing we have here is Best Choice Exercises. So Best Choice is another piece of software. It's a website run out of the University of Auckland. And we have paid 
for you to all have access to this, right? So the way to access it, in theory, you can just click on that and it goes to here and it does, look at that. Now, the first time in, the key thing that you need to know is that over here we've got different ways of accessing it and you don't go log in and you don't click on sign up, even though you've never been there before, you click on single sign on. We will send all your names through to the people who run Best Choice and they will already have put you into a Chem 150 course. All you need to do is click on this button to access that course, right? So if we click on that, then we can go and find Otago, continue, and then we'll get to here and now this is going to want your university username and password again, right? So again, you've got to put in your credentials. Um, and then log in, and then once you're in, you'll be able to access the best choice material, right? Now, this is going to be important for two reasons. For each lesson, there's going to be some stuff in there, some more tutorial work and some problems and some worked exercises for you to try to, again, help bed in the ideas that are covered in the lesson. But best choice is also going to be the place where we, we run the end of week tests or quizzes or assignments or whatever I'm calling them this year end of week quizzes it says here, all right? And these count for marks. So you need to get into best choice and get familiar with the way it works before you start doing the first of the tests, which will be during the weekend of that first week, okay? So for each lesson, and there's 15 lessons in total in the course, this is going to be the sort of format we have. We have learning objectives, we have written study notes, we have video lessons, brings to the textbook, exercises on best choice to try, and then problem sheets as well. And if you can get through all of those and be able to confidently answer the problems and the best choice stuff, then you should feel like you're, you're, you're doing okay for understanding the material. All right? And so like I say, in the first week, there's four lessons. To be fair, the first week's probably the biggest week in terms of workload. There's quite a lot in these ones. Then when you get to the end of the week, um, You'll log into Best Choice at some point during the week. We'll, have, we'll provide you with more information during that first week. But at some point during the weekend, um, you need to go into Best Choice for an hour and do the test that goes with that set of lessons. And then when you've done that um, over the weekend, then on the Sunday night, then the next four lessons will appear. And these are the ones that we do in the second week. And then at the end of the second week, there'll be another test covering the stuff in Best Choice. And then the third week, and so on, right? So that's the basic way that the course is gonna work. We also have here um, a tab for these end of week quizzes. I suppose the key thing to know here, it says you should allow about 90 minutes, in fact, an hour and a half to complete the assignment anytime between 8 p.m. on Friday evening and 8 p.m. on the Sunday evening. Each of these assignments will count for 7% of your mark, right? So there's four of them, one for each week, so that's a total of 28% of your mark for the course comes from these, right? And also it says, please treat these as closed books. So obviously, I don't know if you're sitting with all your notes there and you're kind of just copying answers um, down out of textbooks or off your notes and stuff. But the point of this whole course is to try and get you up to speed with your chemistry understanding. And if you, all you're going to do is kind of cheat and, and in order to get good marks, then you might get good marks in this course, but it's not really helping you for what you really want, which is to be able for doing Chem 191 for many of you or for whatever else you're planning on using this and this understanding for, right? So I won't know, but please try and treat these as, as closed book exams as much as you can. Okay. The only other thing really here that is important is the discussion board. So this is going to be a place where you can talk to each other, you can ask me questions, uh, ask each other questions about the course material and so on, right? So you can just post questions in there, people can answer. Um, if you're going to ask questions of me, it probably would, wouldn't be a bad idea to email me as well. I will try and keep on top of this as much as I can, but sending emails directly might also be a good idea. So I think that covers everything that we need to know for the first four weeks of the course. Um, the, now you've, you've seen how the lessons work and what you have to do, what my expectation is of you for doing um, each week for those lessons. We've said that the end of week quizzes are each worth 7%. So that's a total of 28% towards your mark for the exam, mark for the paper overall. 
Um, there's three other places that marks are going to come from, from the course. One of them is from your engagement with the best choice exercises. So the way that best choice works is that I can log in to myself and I can see who's been doing how many problems and how long you've been spending um, in there. And so I will check um, and see whether you've been doing those problems and stuff. Um, and based on how many of those you do, um, there will be another bit of marks associated with that. I think it might be 12%. I can confirm that. Then when you come down for the last two weeks, there are labs each day, two labs normally each day, and in those labs we have what we call exit tests, and the marks that you get in those exit tests will also count towards your overall mark in the course. I think it's maybe 20% for those. Um, and then there's a final exam, which is 40%. Now the final exam for Chem 150 is what we call a take-home exam. So what that means is that on the Monday at, after classes finish, which I think might be about the 22nd of February, um, you can come into the department first thing in the morning and get a pack, an exam pack, which will have the exam in it and answer books and everything. You can take those away. You can spend, spend the day doing the problems and then bring it back to us by 5 o'clock that afternoon. So it's not a normal exam in that you'll be sitting in a room with a bunch of other people and it's all quiet and stressed and everything. Um, it's not The point of the exam is not so much for me to assess how well you can show that you understand the material under those conditions. I just want to see that you understand how to answer the questions, right? And if you have to make use of resources and so on, that's all right. Because again, the point of this course is for you to learn how to do chemistry, not learn how to do chemistry exams. There'll be time for that later on, but not for this course, all right? So sometimes people are, are interested in knowing when the course finishes, and so the answer is that the course will be, the last lectures are on that Friday of the second um, week of that last, last fortnight. The exam will be the following Monday, and you'll have all day that Monday to do the exam, and then that'll be it for the course. And I'll mark them, and you'll get the marks back later in that week. All right, so if you have any other questions, please email me. I'll be checking my emails through Christmas. Um, if you want the textbook, pay the university the, the money for the textbook, send us in the um, receipt, like it says to do in the, um, the letter that we've sent you. Um, and otherwise, um, we will see you virtually, I suppose, on the 11th. All right. So again, just well done for taking the course. Well done for recognising that you need to get up to speed a bit. It's certainly going to help you um, with your studies in this coming semester. Um, and all the best for it.